I'm here with Amaria Zepu, who is the uh, Vice Mayor for Civil Society and Innovation. I've got her title right, uh, okay. uh, for the city of Athens, of course, the capital of Greece. And um, uh, Amaria is, is the uh, creator and founder of a very innovative uh, platform called Synathena, and I wanted just to talk to her a bit about that. So I think you're probably better placed than me to explain exactly what uh, Synathena is. Yeah. Amalia. Well, Synathena is a platform that connects the municipality with um, uh, community groups that are creative and active in the public sphere. Mm. So today um, we have more than 2,700 activities that have been uploaded on this platform. So it also works as a calendar of events happening in the city by citizens themselves. Um, there are more than 350 community groups that are part of this network. Um, it uh, facilitates the municipality and the districts to know what is happening in the neighborhood from the citizens themselves. What is very important about it is that you, it is a platform of action, of activity, not of ideas or good intentions. So it is um, a little bit the, an observation of what people really care about. Um, the priorities of the citizens according to what they do for the city. What sort of activities are we talking about that are being facilitated? Okay. Well, the, the activities that uh, the, the platform collects at the first step um, are connected to, I mean, there's a large amount in the solidarity area. We're talking about Athens. <coughs> a lot of, I mean, imagine the refugee sector, for example. We have at least 60 different community groups that are active in the refugee, uh, you know, responding to the refugee uh, problem. But uh, in the solidarity, of course, th thematic, uh, you know, a lot dozens on homeless, you know, there are a lot of uh, problems around drug addicts, HIV, you know, there is that. But there are eight different themes, <coughs> um, activities concerning children, education, uh, uh, environment, digital, new digital platforms, um, touristic activities also, you know, people introducing the city um, um, in new ways. And all those activities are non-commercial and they're done and initiated by groups of citizens, both formal and informal. So, I mean, I, I can imagine so many cities would like to have that kind of platform, <coughs> but nonetheless, <coughs> this is the platform that developed in Athens. I wonder, what were the conditions that made you think about creating Synathena? Well, in 2010, you know, uh, Athens looked like an abandoned city with empty streets and empty shops. Um, and people, you know, really felt that, you know, no one was out there. And that was not true. There were this phenomenon of initiations and activities in the city by citizens themselves started to rise and to multiply. Um, I was one of those that actually got out of the house and did stuff in the street. And then when you went to the municipality to ask for collaboration, help, or even just tell them, you know, there is this problem here and I'm doing something for it, there was no, there was no place in the municipality for it. So in 2013, I went up to the mayor, who is, uh, who is an independent politician and the ex-ombudsman of Greece, someone I personally liked a lot, and I said, well, you know, I think you, you, you're, the municipality would need a platform like that, and mm. he took me on board, and we made it. And uh, but and now it's, it's it's it sounds like it's becoming a model for quite a few other cities that other people are are, are maybe looking to set up something similar. Is that the case? Yes. Well, it it, it actually became something that is uh, interesting, and I think maybe useful for other types of conditions, not necessarily a crisis like the one we had in Athens but it responds to other needs of cities. One being that uh, municipalities have difficulty co um, uh, communicating with the solutions of the city. You know, we, municipalities are very good in collecting problems. Uh, they're not very good at collecting solutions that come from the city. And now that we're talking about innovation and all, what is innovation? It's about collaborating with uh, spheres of of people like the private sphere or the civil society 
or university, this knowledge that the city contains with whom you haven't collaborated in the past. Mm. So you need, you know, you need an eye to collect that creativity that is in the city. So have all the people participating in Sin Athena, have, has their attitude to the municipality shifted or changed in any way through their co collaboration with you via this platform? Um, <coughs> here, this is a question of trust towards local government. Um, I don't think that trust has changed. I think the city is still a city in distress. You know, and there are a lot of basic problems. You know, garbage is not collected as much as we should, etc., etc. So I don't think that it has changed the way people look at local government. And um, I don't think you sh we should expect that. Mm. I don't even think it is something we'd want. It's good that citizens do not trust their governments. You know, it's a healthy reaction to reality. On the other hand, what has changed is the level of trust of the government towards its citizens. Because these are citizens that are active and concerned with the public sphere. And politicians and offi city officials are, you know, by nature suspicious to what, you know, citizens do by themselves in the city. If something has changed is that there is an eye now or a near uh, for that, you know, part of the population. Certainly, uh, uh, working as a journalist, I do cover these community projects that uh, we were just discussing them before we came on yes, camera. Yes. And they do actually genuinely inspire people outside, um, outside of Athens. People don't necessarily know the conditions under which they're taking place, but exactly. people hear about what citizens in Athens are doing. Yes. And, and citizens, they are actually inspiring people globally. I mean, that, that sounds a little bit idealistic, but it, it, it is real. People are impressed by the level of resilience and community spirit that is personified, I think, by Sanatina. Yes, that's right. So I think that's, um, thanks okay. very much for talking to me. Well, thank, thank you. you.